So everyone's heard it that do farm the and settle abroad. Your life is all set, but is that the full truth? What really happens when you compare farm the in India with other countries like USA, Australia, Canada? So let's break it down. Not in terms of job, but training, recognition, salaries, and struggles. So hey everyone, welcome back to the Family Doctor, and today we are going to shoot a very special video, which is Family in India versus Family Abroad. So please stay tuned till the last. So let's start with segment one, the degree itself. In both India and abroad, Family stands for Doctor of Pharmacy, but the structure is different. So let's take an example. If I'm talking about US, it's a four-year professional doctorate course. After completing your pre-pharmacy, which is a two-year undergrad course, and talking about India, it is a six-year postgraduate course. One can pursue after completing his twelfth. So in the end, both are doctors, doctors of pharmacy, but the journey to get there is different in both countries, and this difference affects how we are trained. Moving to segment two. training and curriculum in us farmed students are trained intensively in clinical settings like drug therapy patient counseling pharmacoeconomics and real time hospital decisions so in short they are fully trained or capable to take decisions in the clinical settings in india we also study about clinical pharmacy but most of the colleges lack infrastructure or hospital tie ups to give hand on experience the clinical exposure heavily depends upon the hospital you are posted in that's why family from abroad often has a stronger clinical skills because they were trained better moving to segment 3 recognition and roles in the healthcare system countries like us canada and australia family graduates are integral to the healthcare team they are medication expert often part of icu rounds oncology teams and even authorized to modify drug therapy in countries like canada they also have prescription rights talking about india the role is still under development clinical pharmacists are slowly being introduced in tertiary hospitals but it's not uniform many healthcare teams still don't know how to use pharmd efficiently it's not about respect it's about structure and in abroad this structure is solid moving to segment 4 which is career opportunities here's where most of the students really want clarity career options in india after completing your pharmd you can work in as a clinical pharmacist pharmacovigilance regulatory affairs research teaching medical writing and so on talking about abroad the pharmd graduates work in hospitals as a clinical pharmacist community pharmacists in insurance team academic and research drug policy and consulting and government funded services and the biggest difference in abroad they have structured residency programs and board certification which we lack in india and the best part of this certification program is they refine and guarantee growth moving to segment 5 salary and return on investment in abroad farmdies are considered as the top 5 highest paid healthcare professionals but in india freshers often struggle to get a decent starting income the irony both went through intense clinical trainings but the other one gets question for choosing it so that's why most of the indian students dreaming of going abroad and settling down there because of the good structure recognition and stability so moving to the final segment from degree to salary so now we talk about the barriers to practicing in abroad it always sounds fancy and levitating when we heard like settling abroad but it's not easy as it sounds to work as a pharmacist in abroad one usually need to clear license exams like netflix caps pbc dha sometimes do a bridging course spend money on exams documents and travels and it's a huge money that people can spend so choose wisely and take your decisions carefully so in whatever country you are looking for hmm. keep that in mind like uh, visa policies and language exam because it's the basic requirement if you are planning to go abroad it's possible but it takes your time money investment and preparation too and it's not a shortcut it's a journey with this we are ending this video 
we hope you get clarity about family in india versus abroad if you like this video please do subscribe and share to the needy one and drop your comments like what are the difficulties you are facing if you are planning to go abroad